why is everybody so all over local then? Because they get to go home and they think that it's going to elevate their life in some way, but you don't have any money to, to, to enjoy it anyways. you think getting your CDLs was the right move? Getting my CDLs was the best thing I ever did. Got me out of my hometown, got me out into the real world, got me a solid paying job that I was able to support myself on. One of the worst decisions I made, going local. Really? Yes. Why? I did it too soon. I think going local may work years into your career. Mm -hmm. But to do it, I did it one year. I went over the road for one year. I was childish, immature. I couldn't handle up being out on my own. Mm -hmm. So I ran back home to go local and it just, it didn't pan out. It, a uh, truck truck driver in a local setting it isn't a smart career move so you're talking about your you you know it's taking oil filled out of it we're talking about local cargo movers correct yes because when you went back you went to pepsi i went to pepsi that was the first job i had was delivering pepsi then from there that's when we went to the oil field then since then I went and worked for Coca-Cola, I delivered groceries, I delivered sand. I've done a lot of stuff local and none of it really pans out. What did the, pro the pay end up being? After you averaged it out, what did you pretty much make a week? 700. Really? Average. Then why is everybody so all over local then? Because they get to go home and they think that it's going to elevate their life in some way, but you don't have any money to, to, to enjoy it anyways. I've been saying it for years, dude. You know, I've had local jobs where I made over a thousand a week, but they're sporadic. Mm. There's not any of your local jobs that are steady throughout the year. You know, they, they sell you and they tell you, you know, you look it up online. They say, oh, we'll pay you 1200 a week. Well, that's gross. Mm. Then they're going to take all your taxes and your health insurance and everything. And you're going to walk home with $800. Well, I mean, people can live on 800 bucks, man. <laughs> I mean... Not very well. I don't care who you are. That's the comments that I get. Is that uh, eight, uh, 900 bucks is enough for me. That's what they say. I, it's to the point where I don't even... I don't even comment on it because they get so butthurt about it. I don't even comment I mean, if on they're it. willing to live that level of a life then kudos to them but i wasn't good enough for me and yeah, my problem is with it is the day in and day out it's like that was one of my biggest issues that's why i've company hopped so much since i went local is the it was so mundane you do the same thing you go to the same place every day mm, same street same stop by. for the same paycheck you have no opportunity to make more no opportunity to go somewhere else or do something different everyone gets their cdl thinking they're going to travel here travel there do this and do that and then you go local and you're stuck and that's what it is going local you are stuck they're going to chew you up in the car it's like just hitting the pause button on your life you go local and that's what you are you don't make enough to go anywhere else and do anything yeah but i mean they, they get more trim they get more and more chicks they, uh, That's they, the death of a trucker right there. <laughs> hey, no, hold on. And I, I'm, I'm living proof of it. I'm living proof of it. When I say it. that, they call me gay. <laughs> they say that, I tell them that, you know, you mess with a chick, that's going to derail your whole shit. You need to abstinence or get away from that. Again, it's the gay. same thing. If, if you are chasing women more than you're chasing your career... Especially, and this goes especially for people that got in at my age. If you're coming in 21, 22, even 25 years old, you need solid five years thinking nothing but your, your job. I hate, see? Thank you. That's what I've been telling them. Because what are they going to do? What, what is the main, they're going to get with that girl. They're going to get local. They may not have a bill in the world. They get that job, still talking to these local chicks. They're not used to seeing 200 a, month, a week. They're gonna get with some chick who thinks seven, eight, nine hundred dollars is a lot of money. First of all, they're gonna buy a badass truck. Yeah, I mean that's the first thing they're gonna do is start accruing debt. Day one. 
you go home, a lot of these people getting into trucking, a lot of people are coming out of it. They probably still live with their mom, or their, their dad or their brother or sister. They live with family of some sort and they want to do something for themselves. They go get a CDL. So as soon as you go back home, the first thing you got to do is you got to get an apartment. Mm. You got to buy a house. Mm. Now you, and then, then, and then that broken down car you got, now you need a brand new vehicle and you're making 800 a week. So you go out and buy a brand new vehicle. And then the next thing you know, you're making 2,500 a month and you got $2,300 worth of bills. Yeah. You got an old lady, maybe she supports herself, maybe she don't. I'm not going to talk about <laughs> other people's old lady, but from personal experience, it's she a may rut. Not. It's a rut. <laughs> You're just digging a rut. So you get the new, you get the apartment, you get the, uh, you know, you get the whatever your demographics go to car is. You're here, so we're going to say you get the pickup truck. You get the decent pickup truck that's newer. Uh, you're doing better than 80% of the dudes that's your age that didn't go get their CDLs or go to the military. So now the chicks see you in the neighborhood and in the area. Did they come for you to try to trap you? I don't know if they come for you to try to trap you, but it's a lot easier for you to trap yourself. That was a very political statement he just made right there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you end up trapped was the question. I'm not going to speak on that matter. <laughs> My family follows you regularly, all of them. Do they? Yeah. Who? Your dad watches? Oh, my mom's and all of them. My mom, my brother. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to look at Sorry, mom. Okay. <laughs> we might... <laughs> okay, so let's, let's say that they end up trapped, okay? They, all right? You're making this money. You know, really, you're making... 40, 50 grand a year, we'll call it roughly. With your girl making 40, 50, 60, that's a good life. You might be able to, depending on where you live, and that's if your girl makes 40, 50, 60. Mm -hmm. But I mean... But okay. at the same time, it's just too hit or miss when you're local. I've been laid off numerous times i go from making 40 to you know i go from making say a thousand a week that every trucker likes to s sing about which isn't true when you go local but you can think you get laid off now you're getting 400 a week mm -hmm. now you got all these bills and everything and you don't got the income to cover it you're screwed so now you're relying on your wife so now you went to trucking to be able to take care of yourself and now here you are time invested still relying on someone else to take care of you that's deep, dude. Jesus Christ. That's deep. And that's if she works. And that's if she's able to. <laughs> that's so That is if she has a job. Okay. Um. Wow, dude. I don't. I don't know. I mean. I mean, you know what? Maybe I just wasn't articulating it because I didn't do it. So I couldn't articulate all the little intricate things that actually would happen. So they just. It just looked like I was bashing local. But, I've seen the comments and stuff, and it's all people. I don't know. Maybe we just think differently, but it doesn't. If I could, if I could go back in time, I never would have went local. Really? It was the. I feel. I truly believe that was the end of my trucking career. Now here I am, basically almost done with trucking. I basically ruined it for myself. I lost all interest in it. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, you start dealing with the, with the people in a local setting. That's the bliss of being over the road. You don't got to deal with nobody. Yeah. No, you actually end up losing your ability to deal with people. And I don't know what it is about trucking, but it's all politics when you go local. It's all <laughs> who you know, who you're friends with, who you're nice to. So at the end of the day, is it like five guys in there huddling in the, sh in the shop just talking Everywhere to the Everywhere you go. I hate that so much. Everywhere you go. Is there a group of people that hang out together? Yeah, they're usually... They come back talking usually, about fishing trips and all right. that. And then if you, if you don't join one of them groups, you're the outcast. You're done. Jesus, dude. That's... See, me, I don't have the mind state to deal with with that much up in... Like, why? I, I just don't see the point. Because I don't even think the pay scale locally doesn't leave that much room for you to advance. So why are they doing that? And it does. And that's another thing about trucking. People think, well... Oh, well, maybe I make 40000 now, but, you know, in 10 years or so. No, that ain't how it works. 
<laughs> if you come in making forty thousand now and you talk to the guy who's been working for that company for twenty five years, he's making forty thousand. He might even be making less than you because you're willing to work more than him. Trucking, there is no oh you've been working here a while, we're gonna pay you. It's all about what you put in. You get what you, you get what you put and in. And that's why people job hop, because you have to find a whole other company that pays more. Yeah, if you're not willing to put in the time and the effort and the years over the road to get to where you need to be, you're not going to make it. Yeah, to the point where you actually bought a truck. And, and then people want to go out, all oh, trucking sucks, it don't pay, it don't do this, it don't do that. No, you didn't do that. You didn't put in the time you needed to. You didn't try hard enough. You didn't stay over the road long enough to learn what you needed to learn. Mm. Yeah, because if, if, if me now ran into us then and showed a paycheck... We would have freaking been like, you're doing something special. Yeah, we wouldn't have understood it. It didn't yeah. make any sense to us. Because we both came in hot-headed thinking we were going to do it. And we got Two a reality grand first check. Week. Yeah, we got a reality check <laughs> instantly. We thought we were going to make at least $1,900 a week with CR England. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, we got that check. It was like 250 to split. Yeah. <laughs> What, three months I made? I don't even want to get into what I made. <laughs> Damn, do you remember we looked at the settlement thing and they were charging me for, for help driving? Yeah, if we put too many, yeah. Yeah, just for you being in the truck, we'd get fees. Did we, they end up sending me something from a lawsuit. I joined had, it as well. That they had, it was like $13. Because they had screwed so many people. Well, mine came like 180 but. You know what? See that? That's that Trump shit right there. Now, what was my third? You know, you own you you lease the truck. Though. Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, that's another thing. Don't let them sell you on a lease unless you have a business mind. Holy crap, dude! All right. When you come in and they did it to us, and everyone warned us about it too, and I was a sucker and fell for it. But they'll put you in a room and they'll talk you into it. Yeah. And it's a horrible decision. It's almost... A, well, it depends on who you're with. That's true. That's all company-based because, for instance, company... Yeah. But I mean, but bit. what we didn't know was... Because when we used to run into the dudes at CR England that were leasing for 20 years, we're like, how are they here for 20 years? It's because they were training. Right. Yeah, training is essential. We tried to go against, aka, the regime's rules. The rules were start driving... I think back then it was two months you could be a trainer. Yeah, it was two or three months. Two or three, do two or three months with your lease, start training, start making money. We went against that. First, we didn't want no weirdo in the truck. We were uh, learning together, and that's why we didn't make any, that's why we didn't make any money. Because yeah, and we had that theory where we'll, all, well, we'll run all the miles, <laughs> and we did. We killed it. Yeah. It was nothing for us. $5,000 $5, weeks. Yeah, we $500 checks. Yeah, it just isn't set up for you. Basically, you got to screw someone to make money. That's what it is. You basically got to have someone working for you in that truck. And by us working together, yeah, it, it, there was it, nothing to pay each other. There you go. We should have had somebody that we were taking all their miles away. Right. And then we would have made a pretty decent check. That's how do stay with someone like CR England or these places. Is because what you end up finding out is that even the loads are different. That's when I, when I started training with Prime, it was like it was a completely different company. It's like it's like I hired onto a new company. Right. First of all, I don't know if this is true. My prime guys can uh can comment at the bottom. They must have took me off a certain board and put me on the trainer board or the team board. Loads were completely different. They paid more. It was less hassle on pickup. It was like it was oiled for you to just bam, 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 bam. I was pulling anywhere between eighteen and four thousand dollars in and a well, week. Well, we knew that from when we started though you know they told us flat out the trainers get priority they get the priority loads they get the priority shop time did you you know some of them wore the like the trainer shirt yeah <laughs> and the trainer hat <laughs> did you like your trainer you can't stay in touch with them i did for like a year or so and then we fell out i think i lost his number i did like my trainer though i had a good trainer uh, well Privilege. I, don't know. I remember you hated my trainer, dude, because he was such a. <laughs> Your trainer was a tool bat. <laughs> my trainer, though, he did abandon me in that truck, like, what, two, three times? Yeah. He'd I just go that. home. And here I am, sitting in a truck. See, from a trainer, if I had a student, I didn't go home until the student was done. Period. I'm not going to BS and go home something. No, no. When, I, when you get off my truck is when I'm going to go home. Right. 
So I would just keep them and I would just run. I made a lot of money, dude. I was there for 10 months, walked away with $21,000, $25,000 after all my lifestyle and bills and shit. Went, got my own truck, and that's a lot of things people don't understand. Now, my truck is older. It does have issues, but I'm only paying twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 a month for it. And that's, like, if I was to come to you and show you my check, it would be a check without a $1,000 out of it. Because most of the dudes who show you a lease check, they're paying 1000 a week. Yeah, my lease truck was 600 a week. But it wasn't brand new, it was used. Yeah, it was like purple or some shit like it that. It was blue. I think it was purple, dude. It was blue. <laughs> it was like, it was some type of chameleon color, like depending on yeah, where you look at. where you look, yeah, the way the light hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, It was yeah. hot, though, regardless. <laughs> was it auto back then? No, no it was, it was no, a was, it was Yeah, everybody's auto right now. Teach their own. I've run them. I don't like them. Why not? Why don't you like automatic trucks? I just don't like the way they shift or when they shift. You have no control. You kind of feel like you're in a slug. And your fuel <laughs> mileage difference. Maybe over the road it might be better. Oh, yeah. It's it was way different. For us, what we were doing didn't make a difference. Did they tear up more than the manuals? Yes. In the oil field they did. Well, even when I like when I was hauling groceries and whatnot, them trucks were broke down all the time. Transmission problem. They wouldn't go into gear. They wouldn't come out of gear. Mm. So if you were buying a truck, you would never buy a, a automatic to own. No, never. Yeah, that's what I want to stick. I told you, if I my next truck, if I was to get a next truck, it would be a thirteen speed, dude. I, I want a thirteen, and I do. I, I, this may sound stupid, but I do want a sixteen liter. I don't want to. I want the power, man. I just don't. I mean, why not? I don't feel like up a hill at twenty five, dude. I wanna, I wanna just hit that some bitch. You know, like the big Pete dudes. With I mean, the we learn from experience. When you get them big four, four and a quarter motors, they run like shit. What do you mean? Those four twenty five horsepower motors, the sixteen liters. Mm -hmm. Those things will pull a hill all day, sixty mile an hour. Yeah, they pull, but they'll break down though. I mean, I, I guess you're you're, that, you're you're giving uh not 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 the engine. I'm talking about. It seems to me around. Since we had more power and we were freaking using it, we were breaking components around the truck easier than we were with the. Uh, yeah, that is true. Weaker engines, because I mean, I know I busted a couple clutches. Um, uh, there's leaf spring here oh, too. Leaf springs went religiously. Yeah, I I, I thought it was something. But I was then doing. again. We were hot boying it back then. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you, if they knew. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd, be, you'd be 100,000 pounds pulling up through them woods. Yeah, and then racing too. Man, trying to man. To <laughs> oh, that shit was fun. Man, if I had my channel and show how dark it was back there when we were doing right. it, like the main field one, when you would, there's a water pump that you would drive past, you go back, we had to chain up. Yeah. And we have to go up and like go through a neighborhood and go back. That was, that should have been a video, dude. I had my YouTube back then too. Why didn't I fucking do it? You didn't have the equipment yet. That's true. That's true. But man, I used to breeze through there at two o'clock in the morning, dude. Wide open. Yeah, we'd go back to them rigs, we'd chain up and go what, eleven, twelve miles into the middle of the woods. Yeah. Down a dirt road, down a animals trail. back there. When I used to get out and peel on the side of the road and we were waiting in line. There'd be bears walking down yeah. the road. I had a fear someone would reach out and switch my linker off. Yeah. I was <laughs> like what if something's looking directly at me? Because it was pitch black. Well, it was all the time, too. We'd see all kinds of animals. Shit. Bears would be in the dumpster right next to where you're unloading. That's crazy, man. It's like they knew the deal. They wouldn't even... They never came out. I never heard no one coming out and touching anybody, but... No, nah, they wouldn't. They, they were there for the food. Food, and they would leave. But it was, it was a crazy situation. How did you like the reaction in the oil field to when the, um... The, the the few female truckers were out there. Oh, that's embarrassing to be a male in that situation. They were on them, man. I don't even remember what those chicks looked like. Because I don't even think they were that good looking. They but, weren't in the slightest. I mean, but, I don't mean to be ignorant, but... They were Beyonce's to those dudes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Following them around. Trying to help them with their hoes. I got no comment on that. <laughs> Rick trying to hover over every single one. I've never. I mean, it was the worst. That's all you're supposed to do. You know, make sure you put the thing around here. I would just sit. Man, that was your trainer. You learned from Rick. 